Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which means I do not find any credible evidence for the existence of any God. Today is July 3rd, 2014. I have posted at my Facebook page a video from Emory University entitled, Does the Theory of Evolution Really Matter? I strongly recommend the video. I am putting a link to it below this video. It's part of an effort from the university to make people smarter. Well, for six school years, from 1957 to 1963, in the Catholic seminary, a dozen ignorant, arrogant, bigoted, socially deprived men in black robes worked relentlessly to make me dumb. In the short run, they succeeded brilliantly. In the long run, they failed miserably. After that, for the next five years, 1963 to 1968, I, as a Catholic priest, worked hard to make men, women, and children dumb. But then I managed to turn myself around. I left the priesthood and the Catholic Church and became a math teacher. For the past 46 years, I have worked to help young people to be smart. Just yesterday, I home-tutored a 6th grader, a 7th grader, and an 11th grader on fractions, percent, and trigonometry. One important reason that I oppose religion is that I am convinced it tends to make people dumb. And this is bad for our species and our planet. On the other hand, I promote math and science because I am convinced that it tends to make people smart. And this is good for our species and our planet. I see religion and, quote, holy books, unquote, such as the Bible and the Koran, as in stark opposition to science. In practice, they are not pleasantly compatible and harmonious. Their methods and goals are diametrically opposed. Basing one's view of reality on faith, compared with basing one's view of reality on reason and evidence, is a stark contrast. However, what I see all around me is so many individual people who are at the same time being influenced by religion in the direction of being dumb and influenced by science in the direction of being smart. It's like an internal tug of war of which they may not even be aware. I don't want such a dichotomy within myself. I want to be smart, and I want to promote being smart as what is best for individual people, for our species, and for our planet. My being a humanist and atheist corresponds with all this. As I approach age 80, I am still working actively to make amends for those years from 1957 to 1968. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.